well, to stab myself in the eye, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, happy Friday, I mean today's Friday. Today is the 4th of December, it's Friday. As you can see, we're doing makeup today. I'm all made up. I think I look the same as I always look in all my makeup videos. But in today's video, we are trying out a new product that has been out for two years. <laughs> I think at this point, whenever I say a new product, you just know that this product is not new at all. I think the day I actually try a new product will be the day that, I don't know, the sky opens and pigs fly. But anyway, so today we are using the YSL Mascara Volume Effect Faux Seals, the curler. I have been wanting to try this mascara for two whole years. I wrote a blog post about this in 2018. <laughs> it is now 2020, so literally two years. And yeah, I was just super excited. I've always wanted to try it. It's kind of been one of those products that you just always want to try, but timing, money, you just forget all that stuff. But then over Black Friday, one of my favorite content creators, Mella Child, she had a 25% off discount code with YSL. And I was like, let me support this girl. So when I looked on the website and I saw that they had this mascara, I was like, oh my God, I have to try it. It's now or never, that kind of thing. So that is today's video. I won't keep you too long because I have a meeting in 15 minutes that I need to get to so let's just jump straight into the video <laughs> Okie dokie guys, so I don't have long I've got my work laptop down here again. So it is nine o'clock. I've got a meeting at ten o'clock today Like I said, we have a star of the show. I've not yet opened it. So That's <laughs> what we're doing today. So I feel like let's just jump straight in Okay, so my face is feeling a bit dry this morning it's feeling a bit um i don't know it's just super cold today so my face is feeling a bit a bit sensitive oh also my ear anyway i'm wasting time yeah so my face is feeling a bit dry this morning i've put on a whole ton of serum and cream all of that stuff so just to not exacerbate the dryness that is in my face i am not going to be using my can't stop won't stop foundation so instead today i'm going to be using my born to glow foundation in cappuccino i have this in cappuccino and sienna so i'm going to use this in cappuccino today and hopefully that should just you know, just keep my face looking and feeling hydrated. I have already done my morning skincare routine and all of that stuff, so I'm not gonna spend time doing that today. So first I'm just gonna wet my sponge using the Banish Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. This is a nice like setting spray, I guess. This can also be used as a toner as well. Nice and hydrating. I've not worn this foundation in so long. Mm. Yeah. I actually love the Born to Glow foundation, like it's just up my street. It's my vibe. Because you see how it just like glides on and you can see the visible difference. Like when I have the Can't Stop Won't Stop, it just looks so dry. Whereas this one is real good. Like it's quite lightweight, but it's buildable. So do you see, like it just feels so much better and it's so hydrating. Let's just bring this down the neck. <laughs> just brush it. I know well, but look at that. It's a bit orange. It's a tiny bit orange, but I actually have orangey like undertones anyway. So I think this actually suits quite well. Um, so let me just blend that out. So we can still see a few of the dark spots, but it's not that bad. And I can always go over it afterwards. Okay, cool beans. Yeah, I quite like that. Like the difference. I honestly feel like the Born to Glow foundation is just the best thing. It just gives you that like dewy healthy looking finish and it's just got such a nice like natural glow to it okay so that is all that done i'm like what is next what do i normally do next then i'm just gonna take a bit of this bronzer this is the revolution glow splendor i'm just gonna take like a real tiny bit i'm gonna put this on my lid i should really get an eyeshadow brush but super all this was a bit too dark as a bronzer you can't really see it so well but i know it's there and then i'm gonna take a tiny bit of my maybelline dream matte blush and i'm gonna also blend that in with the eye okay and then oh it looks a little nice up close i think 
it's quite cute isn't it next we have the main start of today's show i need to open it let me open it real quick super excited about this because i have wanted this mascara for two years i actually wrote a blog post on this in 2018 i think must be 2018 and it is now almost 2021 so it's been almost three years so i'm super excited about finally being able to give this a try oh okay so i have the this is so fancy for me. So I have the YSL Mascara Volume Effect Faux Sils. And this is a, wait, is this the curler one? And this is the curler version. When I first read about this two years ago, like the way it looked and the way it made the lashes look, I was like, this is a dream mascara for me. But then two years ago, I just never thought that I would ever buy or ever spend that kind of money on mascara because, you know, I just wasn't, wasn't that way inclined at all but then black friday came along and mella child had a discount code with ysl and i was like you know i need to support her let me support her and let me also get what i like funny because i wasn't actually expecting to get anything because i'm not really into makeup so much and i think a lot of the products that mella was talking about it was like perfume concealer eyeshadow and those aren't products that i actually buy or really use but when i saw that they had the mascara i was like okay 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 so this is what it looks like it's very luxurious it's super nice love it so this is what we're going to be doing today i'm so happy now i have not used a mascara that looks like this in such a long time the last time i used one that looked like this i think it was a rimmel london mascara that had like a curved kind of thing on it so here we go i'm super excited i'm quite nervous though because i'm not the best with these like curled things but let's give it a go Ooh, it smells delicious very interesting what do we think i don't know how i feel about that you know it's very um like dainty lashes so i will for sure have to go over this with like six coats hopefully this isn't waterproof but the smell this actually smells really nice it's got like a kind of like medicinal like aloe vera i don't even know what this is Yumbo. interesting okay let me go into the other eye but you can see the difference, can't you? Wow, this is really nice. I want to try the original one that's not the curler and see how intense that makes my lashes. Well, just stab myself in the eye, okay. I think it's harder because I obviously like my lashes to look a certain way and most mascaras don't give you that like right off the bat so it always takes a bit of um, finessing on my part so bear with us I don't know like it's okay I have to say so far this mascara is okay I think let me give it a bit of a wiggle like it's okay okay so I'm gonna have to do my lashes again just to get them to be more like wow mm. oh it dries down quite fast okay guys so this i'm just not happy we're gonna be here a little while because it literally is dried down already i need Clumpy AF lashes. Wow. Guys, here we are. I don't even know how long it's been, but it's been a little while. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to just wrap it up. I'm not even gonna lie, this is good. This is actually quite nice. So there we are done. I might put a tiny bit more mascara on at the end, but for all intents and purposes, the eyes are done, the lashes are done. Um, to be honest, the thing is now, I do quite like this. I just think the effort it takes to get like this level of lash and to get my eyes to look this, this much like this, I much prefer the Rodeal Glamour Lash Mascara, but I think it's the wand on this. 
I shouldn't just be whacking it out like this. I think it's the wand. I think if this was just like a normal, can you see? If this was just like a normal straight wand, then I think this would be fine. But because the wand is curved and it just looks like that, I just feel like, ooh, it has a lock. Someone said that this has a lock on it. And this does actually have like a lock. You hear it lock when you close it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but because of the way that the brush is designed and how it looks, I think if you're like me, you guys know how I like my lashes to be. And if you like your lashes to look like that, then this is not going to be a mascara that will get you that result which makes me now want to try the original because the original one or the normal one is just like a normal straight brush which I think would probably give me the more like wow thick clumpy looking lash that said if you do like more like delicate clean lashes then this is definitely something good to try it does get all of the lashes and it does like separate them and it does look nice so definitely something worth trying Ooh, that's nice okay so now that the eyes are done i've got like 40 minutes until my meeting so i'm gonna do blush um i actually saw this in a glossier email yesterday so i'm gonna do that today i'm going to use these two on my cheeks i'm gonna mix them up together also guys black friday i think at this point was a couple of weeks ago and i did buy the two new glossier shades so i'm waiting for those to arrive but as soon as they arrive i will film some videos on them so make sure you stay tuned to the channel really excited about those so i'm gonna go in with haze and storm but i'm gonna go in with i think more of storm because i love storm but with a bit of haze just to give me a kind of pink kind of color i'm gonna put some on my lips and just kind of rub this everywhere and then put some on the forehead and then because i'm looking all kinds of clown <laughs> just gonna go over this with my Wow, no, I look disastrous. Um, just gonna correct. I think this is what I like to do. I like to go crazy and then I like to go over everything to like tone me down. Ooh, do you see that? It's like a subtle pink and it's more like natural, I think. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more foundation, just a real tiny smidge. Cause I don't wanna get rid of like everything. I do wanna tone it down because I've been looking crazy. I want to go in with a tiny bit of bronzer, but I don't know, what do we think? I might go with like a teeny tiny bit. I learnt my lesson from last time, so I don't want to go too overboard. It's cute, no? Nice, it's like so subtle. I think my vibe is like a natural, like subtle kind of color. So you can see that I'm looking pink overall, but like not super, super, super pink, which I think pink just kind of goes really well with the brown. Like I'm looking sunkissed, I quite like it. Okay, so not to go overboard, cause I went over overboard. Literally just gonna dab this like this, shake off the excess. I think I need like a fluffier brush. a dash like real dash like i don't want to look as crazy as i did last time it's like more subtle today okay cool what are we saying yeah mm. do you know i've ruined my face i've ruined it i've ruined it all because i want to set my face a bit i'm gonna go in with the nyx can't stop won't stop powder just to set my face a tiny bit hmm do you know what? i quite like that corrected the over bronze on the top so not looking too crazy what is the time okay so i need to get a move on because girl we be like yeah do you know what? i really like this it's so subtle like oh uh -huh. <laughs> i think i want to be known as the girl whose makeup just is barely there like so subtle like the face is just simple simple pimple you know because i like it i like a simple makeup look i'm not out here to stand out from the crowd <laughs> Okay, do you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how everything is looking, which is a first because I'm never happy with how anything comes out looking. <laughs> um, cool beans. Okay. Cute. Cute. So I kind of feel like that's literally everything before I make any more of a mask. So I am going to finish getting ready and then I will see you guys in just a second. Okay guys, so we're done. This is the finished makeup look. It looks the same, even though I've done like a million more things to my face. Um, I quite like it. It's quite nice. 
uh, yeah, it's quite nice in my humble opinion. Just gonna pop in my earrings and put on some lip balm. Earrings are in, They're cute. What's that in the back? I'm gonna put on some lip balm. So I've got my Born Beautiful Naturals lip balm. This is really great, I love this lip balm. I might have to tie my hair up. It's funny, it's like I go through all this trouble just to wear a wig and then I just wear it in a bun like the whole day. Like, girl, what's that about? Hey guys, this is the final look. What do we think? I mean, it looks the same as all of my makeup videos, so I think we think it looks good. We like it. What's funny is that I, it's not really funny, is it? but I really love this Born to Glow foundation and the Cappuccino. I think this is my winter normal shade whereas Sienna is my more holiday tanned shade. And when I was first using the Cappuccino, it was a bit too light. I mean, when I first used it, it was fine. But then when I went to Malta and I tanned, it was just too light for me. But now that it's the winter and I'm a lot lighter. This is the perfect colour. Like it just gives me a nice sun-kissed kind of vibe and it's not full coverage. I can still see a couple of my dark spots, but I'm not mad at it. Like I quite like it. Just because it's such like a natural finish and it is buildable. So I did put on like two layers of this. I might put on some more. I don't know why today I just feel like I feel really good today. Makeup, wow, makeup can really do things for you, can't it? Anyway guys, so that is today's video. Final thoughts on this mascara. Funnily enough, on the box, they do have like directions on how you can use it to get like really full volumized lashes. So I probably should have read that first, but I think we achieved it in the end. As first impressions go on the mascara, I feel like mm, not disappointed per se, but having waited two years to try this, I guess I was expecting, hoping for something more. If you like super thick, super clumpy, dramatic lashes, you will no doubt need, I'm not even joking, you'll need like three to four coats of this to get like the volume of lash. I've put on about four, five coats of this <laughs> and I've wiggled the brush around inside and I'm still not like 100% happy with my lashes. So if you want drama, 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 then you'll need a lot of coats of this. That said, I do want to try the original one because I think the original one will just give us more volume like right off the bat. This just, it's very clean mascara. If you want a clean mascara and you want like a nice clean elegant look this is definitely one to try this is 28 pounds i think either 28 or 29 pounds i think it's 28 pounds but i got this for 21 pounds because i had a discount code i think if you sign up to ysl beauty then you get like 10%, 15% off your first order. But I feel like every little helps. So if you don't want to spend 29, 28 pounds on this, sign up to YSL and you can get 15% off. But yeah, I probably will not be buying this again. That said guys, like I've been saying all video, Black Friday was a couple of weeks ago at this point by the time this video goes live and I did buy some more Rodeal mascara. I feel like Rodeal is now my favorite place for mascara so I got the Glamour Lash mascara so keep an eye out on my channel to see the unboxings and all of that stuff but yeah guys let me know your thoughts down below in the comments have you tried this mascara if you have what do you think about it let me know down below in the comments I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've missed that you might want to know about the mascara but I mean it's okay yeah much prefer the Rodeal mascara because that's just Wow, such a great mascara. But anyway, guys, I have to get a move on. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. And in the meantime, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.